today I just want to teach you something about cycles. We have cycles that go on in our life, of course, but we also have cycles that are occurring right now, right? So like, think of it like seasons and then think of that like months and then think of that like weeks. It can be broken down so many ways. Okay, so consider this a cycle, right? Here's the problem is that everybody wants to be up in the high place, right? We all want to be up here. But actually what this is right here, this is the sowing time. This is a lot of work. This is giving out. And down here, this is actually our receiving time. And what happens is, is that if we don't sit and fill ourselves back up during this receiving time, we'll have nothing to sow. Imagine having a glass and it's empty. And in the high times, in the time when you're supposed to be sowing, you have nothing in there. So you're shaking the glass, trying to get something out of it. That's how a lot of people are approaching their lives and they're getting so frustrated. We need to be partnering with what's happening. If we are not resting in this low time or downtime, when it comes to the high time, we'll have nothing to give out. By the way, that cycle that I just showed you is the same reason that you can track narcissists' abuse cycles because each one of them is gonna be different, but guarantee you there is gonna be a high point and there's also gonna be a low point for them. So again, write everything down. Write down for you what cycle you're in and also make sure that you're tracking things with a narcissist.